This is the Me Creator 2 from GTEC. It's a rather inexpensive 3D printer for $320, but it has a 50 micron layer height, which is pretty good. Most printers all have a minimum of 100. This goes down to 50 microns or 0.05 millimeters. And that's a fairly decent uh, size for a layer. And for $320, it's not a bad deal. This printer comes with the manual that says to go ahead and use Slicer with it and uh, Repertier Host. I had some issues with the quality of the prints from that. But uh, I went through uh, several printers. They were getting, the prints were getting better as I tweaked the settings. But um, as I was using this thing and printing things I was I discovered that there is another slicer software that is also free so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and try it to see what it would do it's from craft unique called craftware and it's a fairly decent software it turns out it gave me better prints than the slicer did with pretty much the same exact settings I downloaded and used version 1.14 and installed it and decided to go ahead and slice up and print this model. It's a 60 millimeters long model uh, by 36 millimeters high. I have subdivided it for the print which has 587,000 triangles. Uh, the original model only has 9,000, but to make it look better, I smoothed it out with some subdivisions and exported that to an STL to import here into Craft Unique's Craftware. Now, one thing in version 1.14, there is a bug. Under Options, if you go in here, every time you start it up, under printer it will have the default 250 200 200 print bed this is probably uh, one of craft unique's 3d printers settings default settings and you need to change these to what you have for your printer in my case it's 160 by 160 by 160 the printer the me creator 2 has a very small print bed but for printing small items, it's not too bad, especially for the price. But you do have to be aware that every time you start up this version of Craftware, you will need to change this bed settings before you add your model. Now we will add the STL it's 28 megabytes and it gets added in fairly quickly just like that we'll stand this up and see how we go now one of the advantages to craftware over slicer is the support ability to modify add delete supports on the fly let's go over here to the support area we will auto generate some supports as you can see they add in very quickly you can delete ones that you think you do not need and add ones you see there's a ghost where you want to add them you can add them in as you need We'll undo that because we really don't need that guy there. And uh, I think we can get rid of this support. As you can see, it uh, it's a very responsive program for a lot of triangles model. Now we will go over to Slicer. And as you can see, we have, uh, these are the settings I have. These are what I have uh, set up for me creator 2 to run at a very pretty decent print 
resolution and quality. You can go ahead and if you are using a Me Creator 2, these are good settings to start with as your uh, settings and then tweak them as you find you need to. Now on the header and footer I changed these so that the at the end of the print the bed goes down to the bottom floor so that I can make it easier for me to get the uh, the model out of the bed which is Z160. So you have to be remember that you need to auto home your printer before you start another print. But anyway, those are the settings. Now we'll go ahead and slice this. And it's that quick of second or two. And it sliced the model. You can re review what each of the layers is going to be. And again, it's very responsive. And then you can save it to an SD card to put in your printer, or you can print it straight to your printer if you have your printer connected to your computer. But overall, this is a very nice program, and it gave me superior prints to Slicer, although I probably with some tweaking of the settings, I would have eventually gotten Slicer to it to a decent quality. But this turned out to give me a very good quality print uh, on almost the very first print. I've printed three models and I uh, only had to make some slight tweaks to get a very good print and slight improvements over what I got. And the very first print from Craftware was much better than the last print that I had with Slicer with practically the same settings for the Slicer. So uh, hopefully that will help you out and uh, I would highly recommend if you have a Me Creator 2 to download and use Craftware, it uh, will work very good as a slicer program for that hardware, 3D printer. This is the first print from the Me Creator 2 using slicer software. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of gobbing and oozing and stuff from the program. I went ahead and went up to model 14 tweaking the settings and this is what I ended up with after some tweaking. Then I downloaded the slicer software called Craftware and this is my very first print from Craftware using the same settings practically from slicer that I transposed into Craftware. As you can see with the very same settings almost, uh, the print is much better and uh, after a couple of more tries and a little minor tweaking, I ended up with a very good print. So that's why uh, I think Slicer is probably a bit, of, is a bit uh, rough around the edges. You can get much better prints out of Craftware than out of Slicer. Uh, out of the box unless you do a lot of tweaking with Slicer.